Happy Sabbath once again. Today is yet another Sabbath day. A day that is blessed and filled with gladness. So don't forget the Sabbath. The day that is blessed by the Lord Almighty. The day that is filled with joy. The day of gladness. Forget it not. For it is the Lord's day. Happy Sabbath. My dear friends. You are welcome to the Happy Sabbath Show. You are live in Sandimak Media Studio. Sabbath day, and just as we have been doing, we are looking at the Ten Commandments, the Sabbath Keeper, and the Ten Commandments, the law of God. So, wherever you are listening to us, kindly bow down your heads and join us in heart and mind in prayers. Father Almighty, we are so much grateful to you this Sabbath. We are so happy to be part of this blessed day. Today we are praying to commit our lives, our soul, our mind, our body, our everything into your hands. As we are enjoying this Sabbath blessings, as we are enjoying this sweet message in harmony, we pray that you let your Holy Spirit come and join us. Let your Holy Spirit come and give us the understanding that surpasses everything so that at the end, our lives will be touched and changed and we will worship you in truth and in spirit. Be with us in this Sabbath in your mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Beloved, wherever you are, we are in the Sabbath of the Lord and we want to perfect our Sabbath keeping. We want to perfect our Sabbath keeping in the Lord. We want Christ to be the center of our Sabbath keeping. So, as we have been doing over the weeks, this week too, we are looking at the third commandment of God. Just as we started about three weeks ago, this week we are looking at the third commandment of God. And we are quoting it from the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 20, verses number 7. Exodus chapter 20, verses number 7. I'm reading from the King James Version, which says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Whoever that mentions the name of the Lord in vain, the Lord will not take you guiltless. In the day of judgment, the Lord is going to judge you according to his commandment. You that take the name of the Lord in vain. How do we take the name of the Lord in vain? How do we how, how do we play along with the name of the Lord? The Lord our God has given us the opportunity to call on him in the day of our trouble, in the day of need, in the day that we found ourselves wanting, the Lord has given us the opportunity, the chance 
We as fallen beings, we as sinful beings, we as sinners, the Lord has given us that opportunity to call him that he will be with us and respond to our request. So how then do we call the name of the Lord in vain? Let's look at it from this angle. If the president of your land has given you the opportunity that whenever you are in trouble, call his name and he will send help unto you. Wherever, however, whatever time. So whenever you find yourself wanting, you call the name of the president of your land and help comes. You call the name and help comes. So you've taken it as a yastic. Wherever you are, you find yourself, in whatever thing you are doing, anyhow, in, in whatever playing, like you take the name, anyhow, you call the name and then response comes. Now, when it becomes a thing like a, a joke, whenever you call the name, the help will not come again. Because when you call the name and the help comes, it is just for fun. You want to show off. It's like you are showing off, you are making fun of the name. That is what God is talking about. So whenever you are calling the name of the Lord your God, it should be a time that it is needed. It should be a time that you are in need. It is, it, it is not anyhow that you should call the name of the Lord. Beloved, when you are calling the name of the Lord, you should call the name of the Lord with respect. You should call the name of the Lord with dignity. We should call the name of the Lord with honor. We should, we should recognize that the Lord is majesty. The Lord is holy. So when you are calling the name of the Lord, you shouldn't call it anyhow. You shouldn't call it at any ordinary place. Like at a party. Like, like at a bar, at a drinking spot. Like in the, in the, in the midst of fornicators, in the, in the midst of adulterers, in the midst of fun makers, you call the name of the Lord. I, 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 I feel it difficult to even mention the name anyhow because the name of the Lord shouldn't be called anyhow. It is written in his commandment. He wrote it with his finger, with his own hand, on the tablet of stone. That thou shalt not call the name of the Lord your God in vain. Like you want to you, you want to place a curse on somebody, then you call the name of the Lord as a curse. Just imagine. The Lord God has spoken and the Lord has said that he will not take it lightly. He will not take it guiltless. He will deal with whosoever that mentioneth his name in vain. Whenever you want to mention the name of the Lord, you have to, you, you should have a purpose in calling the name of the Lord. If you are not calling the name of the Lord for praise, don't do it. If you are not calling the name of the Lord for adoration, don't do it. If you are not calling the name of the Lord for blessings to come on you, don't do it. If you are not calling the name of the Lord to come and rescue you from your troubles, from your fears, from your plights, from whatever thing, whatever trouble that you find yourself in, don't call the name of the Lord. Because the name of the Lord is holy and you should call it in holiness. You should assess yourself. You should, you should make yourself worthy to mention the name of the Lord. 
when you are when 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 you are not in a good state of mind, in a good state of heart, as being worthy of mentioning the name of the Lord, don't mention it, because the Lord will not take it light with you, beloved. This is the word of God. It is the instruction. It is the command of the Lord that thou shalt not mention the name of the Lord thy God in vain. This Sabbath, as we are enjoying the blessings from God, this is the message that I want to give you. That thou shalt not mention the name of the Lord thy God in vain, so that you will not call the judgment of God upon your soul. May the peace of the Lord be with you as you ponder over this message, as you are worshipping and making Christ the center of your Sabbath. May the Lord be with you in the mighty name I have prayed. Shall we bow down and pray? Father Almighty, we pray that you give us the understanding of this word, that we shouldn't call your name in vain. So, Father, teach us how to call your name, where to call your name, and what purpose we should be calling your name for, so that we will not find ourselves wanting in the day of judgment. We will not find ourselves guilty of this command that we will be, we will, we will see ourselves in thy throne of mercy. We will see ourselves in, in, in thy inherit, inheritance so that we shall be called your sons but not be judged and be condemned. In this Holy Sabbath, we pray that you shower unto us your blessings. We pray that you, you, you make us receive a greater portion of your blessings that all things that we do shall glorify your name. We are so much thankful unto you this Sabbath. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you.